Mayor Latoya Cantrell could challenge a judge's ruling on the recall effort today. Good evening, I'm Cherie Gibson. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. We told you yesterday when a judge signed off on lowering the number of active voters in Orleans Parish by 25,000 for the purpose of this recall. An attorney for Cantrell's campaign told Whitney Miller they might challenge that decision. Whitney, joining us now, what else did you learn, Whitney? Well, I learned the mayor is consulting with her legal team on a number of different actions they could take to challenge the Secretary of State and the Latoya campaign. There's an injunction. You seek a temporary or permanent injunction to enjoin or stop the, the voting process, or we could seek what's called a mandamus. A mandamus is a proceeding where you ask a public official to justify what actions he or she took. Attorney Marone Floyd is on the mayor's legal team. He says the team has been reviewing the judge's consent judgment line by line to determine if they will challenge the judge's ruling. The Nolatoya campaign had been fighting to remove thousands of registered active voters from the voter rolls. Wednesday, a judge ruled that no one will be removed at this point. But for recall purposes, 25,000 names on the rolls won't be counted, giving the Nolatoya campaign a better chance at meeting the threshold of signatures needed to trigger a recall. This is unprecedented. If you look in the annals of election challenges, never has there been a recorded case where there has been a settlement. In other words, these cases should be decided on statistics. But Louisiana Secretary of State Kyle Arduin says his office was relying on statistics when they agreed to reduce the number of active voters by 25,000. But we looked at the uh, numbers from the canvas last year uh, using that as, as a baseline. And then we looked at uh, what the estimate would be if we had performed a second annual audit. Um, and we added that to it and that got us to the right at right right near the 25,000 mark. The secretary says voter roll numbers are as accurate as they can be with the information they have on hand, but he admits the records could be monitored better. Well, this would never have happened had the governor not vetoed my legislation that we pushed forward that would have required uh, a second annual canvas. Uh, we obviously had we had the second annual canvas in 21 or 22, I think we would have already arrived at this number anyway. And Mayor Cantrell and her legal team are expected to make a decision on whether or not to challenge this latest ruling over the weekend. Sharice. All right, Winnie, thank you so much. Well, we could see.